In this video, we will introduce multiple activities XML layout. Now that we've done our Hello World program, we're going to take a look at how to make two activities talk to each other. An activity by itself does not have a presence on the screen. Instead, it has to draw the screen using views and view groups. Let's look first at the basic example of a layout. Here we have main.xml. We have a basic layout. A layout defines the visual structure for a user interface, such as the UI for an activity or app widget. You can declare a layout in two ways. Declare UI elements in an XML, which Android provides a straightforward XML vocabulary that corresponds to the view classes and subclasses such as those for widgets and layouts. Or you can instantiate a layout element at runtime. Your application can create view and view group objects and manipulate their properties programmatically. We're going to be looking more in depth at this when we create layouts. But for now, we have a linear layout. We have the ID of the layout. The width and the height match the parent. The orientation is vertical. We have a text view and a button. The text is from our main.xml. And our button is going to have a text saying, click me to another screen. So our text view is going to say, screen one main.xml and our button is going to say click me to another screen and we have the layout width and height and the ID. The Android framework gives you the flexibility to use either or both of these methods for declaring and managing your application's UI. So we can use the XML or we can do it programmatically. For example, you could declare your application's default layouts in XML including the screen elements that will appear in them and their properties. You could then add code in your application that would modify the state of the screen objects, including those declared in XML at runtime. The ADT plugin for Eclipse offers a layout preview of your XML with the XML file open, so we can select the layout tab. And this is how it's going to look. We can also use the hierarchical tool for debugging layouts. It reveals layout property values, draw wireframes with padding margin indicators, and full render views while we debug on the emulator or device. Now the advantage of declaring your UI in XML is that it enables you to better separate the presentation of your application from the code that controls its behavior. Your UI descriptions are external to your application code which means that you can modify or adapt it even without having to modify your source code and recompile. For example you can create XML layouts for different screen orientations, different device screen sizes, and different languages. Additionally, declaring the layout in XML makes it easier to visualize the structure of your UI so it's easier to debug. Now let's look at our second layout. Again, here we have a linear layout, which we're going to look into down the road. And we have a text view, and it's going to say screen to main to.xml. This concludes our discussion of multiple activities XML layout.